All right, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. There's been a little bit of a situation that's gone down on Twitter.com. Essentially, a uh, resident woman has made a tweet. Basically, she was in the gym working out and uh, she, was, she had a Street Fighter t-shirt. And basically, a, a guy walked up to her and said, D do, you, do you play Street Fighter? And then she just said no and continued her workout, but apparently she was really mad about this whole thing. So she made this tweet saying, Been at the gym for 15 minutes before some dude approached me as I'm trying to get my cardio in, waved and pointed at my Street Fighter shirt until I yanked my earbuds out and loudly asked him what the frick he wanted. You play? Earbuds back in, volume all the way up. Okay, so right off the bat, you can tell that this is a popular girl, right? Uh, all the guys just seem to approach this one woman. I mean, God forbid, she can't even be at the gym for 15 minutes. She, she's more popular than YouTubers at this point. So basically, the whole situation is she's wearing a shirt. A guy says, do you play the game that's on your shirt? That's it. That's all he says. You play. And no, I mean, I feel like that's a regular interaction, just go on with your life. I don't really see why you need to get so mad about it. I feel like he might have even approached uh, a guy who had a Street Fighter t-shirt. Like, if I didn't have crippling social anxiety, maybe I, I would approach someone. Like, if I saw someone watching a Pegasus video on the street, I might approach them, alright? Come on. Also, why do you need to snap at him? Like, yanked my earbuds out, loudly asked him what the freak he wanted. Like, he just waved and pointed at your shirt. Why can't you just be a decent human being and interact like a nice person? Listen, I can kind of give you like benefit of the doubt. Okay, maybe this, this girl has been harassed a bunch of times by a bunch of guys and uh, she's just thinking, oh, this is another one of these situations. But I feel like you judge each person uh, based on the individual interaction. For example, if I meet a random person on the street, I'm not gonna punch them immediately saying that, oh, oh, the last person I met on the street stabbed me in the back. Yeah, I mean, okay. But that has nothing to do with the next person who's showing up, you know? Don't take your past experiences and put it- I mean, I don't know what to say, man. You know the funniest part about all of this? This dude legitimately only said two words to piss off this girl. That's all it takes. That's probably a world record at this point. So some of the responses are, Stop bragging. You had on a shirt that most guys would recognize. Obviously, everybody knows Street Fighter. You need help. That guy meant no harm. I mean, honestly, maybe if I was uh, an attractive woman, maybe I would uh, side with this person, but I don't know. From coming from a guy's perspective, I'm just saying this. This seems like the most outrageous response ever. Just move on with their life. Goddamn. Imagine this being a problem. A guy walking up and saying, "You play." Some people are making the argument that the problem is not with the interaction, but the place it is. The fact that it's the gym. Like the gym is for working out, not socializing. It doesn't matter if you see something cool on the shirt or not. There isn't a singular good reason to conversate in the gym, lol. You're there to work out if you have time to be social, then your rest between sets are too long. Now this is probably one of the stupidest statements I've ever heard in my life. A gym is a public place. Sure, a bunch of people might just want to go to the gym, get their workout done and leave, but a lot of people would have no problem conversating with other people. It is a public place and people are perfectly fine to have interactions and talk to each other. Now, if if it's not your cup of tea, sure, just move on. Like, this guy legit just said two words. Like, he wasn't even trying to pick her up or anything. Like, he didn't show any, like, romantic interest. He just said, do you play the game? Also, what the hell do you mean there isn't a singular good reason to talk in the gym? What if you see some skinny guy doing the exercise completely wrong, probably gonna break his back trying to lift, like, gigantic weights? I'd probably go up to him and say, tone it down a bit, chief. Honestly, I totally get the thing. Thing of like you want to get in do your thing and get out and that's why you wear earphones and in general if I'm wearing earphones you probably do not want to be disturbed but why are we acting like this guy committed a, a cardinal sin why are we acting like this guy straight up broke the law or something why are we acting like this is some form of uh, harassment towards women my guy just wants to find someone to play street fighter with okay <laughs> this is a wholesome guy at the gym and you put him on twitter.com come on here's the one true take if I have earbuds or headphones on at the gym I don't want to talk to you unless it's severely important building is on fire 
Well, I, I pretty much have earphones or headphones everywhere and I'm completely fine with people talking to me. I guess I'm less of a social reject than I thought, huh? I guess it does go lower than me. Now there's a bunch of people out here calling this guy creepy and bro, he said two words, man. Creepy. It sucks that creepy dudes had to ruin this for y'all. I met one of my closest friends at the gym by talking to him about his Street Fighter shirt. How's that creepy lol? He just asked a question. Okay, maybe this person was referring to like previous dudes or something, but honestly, there's nothing really wrong with what you did. Like, it's perfectly fine to it, it act the way you did, but posting about it on Twitter.com and complaining it, uh, complaining about it as if it's some sort of man harassing woman situation, that just makes you a little bit of a D-Gen. Wow, I was rude to someone today. Let me post it on Twitter. They would love that. Twitter has actually become the place where you just post all of your negative emotions. Well, moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, this particular person is quite, quite invested in their uh, gym prowess. How dare you walk up to them and say two words. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about the situation in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!